Merry Christmas! Yes, it is Christmas Eve and I cannot express how much I love you guys and I really want to wish you all a very, very happy and Merry Christmas for tomorrow. Today is a extra long episode, just as a little treat for you. Uh, me down in Durdle Door. So you are going to love that. It is a brilliant video. Um, I really love being down there. So make sure you stick along uh, and watch the whole video. But I cannot thank you guys enough um, for watching all the videos. We'll get soppy over New Year. We won't do it now, but I love you guys. And I really do hope you have a great Christmas tomorrow with all your friends, family and loved ones. Stuff your faces, be merry, and enjoy this video. I think tonight's going to be a nice park up. There's a few cars going past here and there, but with a police station over there, I can't see it being a, I can't see it being a dodgy park up. To, to be fair, nice size car park though. Like just chilling out. There was one car. There was another car when I got here, but that was it. Two cars. One's already gone. Someone come in and span round. Apart from that. No one's here uh, doing anything, so I'm thinking it should be a nice, quiet park up. Time to make some dinner. I'm going to make something that um, really isn't hard to make. We used to have them quite a lot when I was a kid, um, and that's like pita pizzas. So basically, you just get a pita bread, toast it up a little bit, then put some um, put some tomato puree on all your pizza toppings bang them in the oven, or I'm going to use the air fryer, and then they pop out, and then they're basically just mini pizzas. Absolutely so simple to make, so easy. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have a couple of hash browns of them. Got some grated cheese. This is, I quite like this blend. It's four, four cheeses in one, so pretty good. Like that. Got the pita breads. I'm going to chop up some ham. I've got some frozen onion out, because uh, I have that in the freezer. I've got pepperoni and then i've got a couple of sausages that were in the fridge which i'm going to use up i'm going to dice them up basically <laughs> it's going to be like a mini meat feast pizzas um with a couple of hash browns on the side so let's do it shall we hash browns are pretty much cooked and this is where i've put the pitters in for a couple of minutes just to start warming them and toasting them chucked a load of uh, tomato puree on and some uh, oregano Oregano, oregano. Oregano. Um, now I'm going to chuck a load of this on. So I've got some cut up sausage, ham, a little bit of cut up pepperoni. I will put some slices on as well and some um, chopped up onion. I'm then going to cover it in cheese, of course. And then I'll uh, show you how it looks just before it goes in. How good do they look? All right, just going to whack the cheese on and get them in. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> now does that not look banging or what <laughs> look at this yes this is the one i don't know if i actually needed the hash browns i don't think i'm gonna be able to eat them but yes pizza pita pizza for the win meat feast style right time to dig in i'm gonna be sitting down there cracking on with transferring files I'm going to quickly put something on TV whilst I scoff that. Then I've got them Christmas lights that need untangling. I've got hard drives everywhere, cameras everywhere. Ah, oh, it's all going on. It's all going on. I just want to interrupt this video because uh, I want to make a little announcement. Last week, a couple of weeks back in the video when I went to the New Forest, I did feed the donkeys. i got two donkeys that found me. <laughs> oh, you're sharing. I shouldn't have. Um, you shouldn't do that. If you haven't seen that video, go back. I got really excited like a schoolgirl and started eking and everything um, because I found donkeys. Um, I love donkeys. Now, uh, in a little way to say, like, you know, I do take this seriously and I do, you know, I, don't, I didn't want to do it. I didn't, I didn't mean to do it or anything like that. I have adopted my own donkey, Jasper. Yes, I've got my own donkey. <laughs> I pay uh, three pounds a month. Um, I've adopted Jasper and he loves ginger nut biscuits. So he's in Birmingham. He's seven years old and uh, yeah, he's lovely and great and I can't wait. If I can go see him in the new year, that is going to be brilliant. But I should get a nice picture through and everything from um, Adopt a Donkey, which I'll show you all when it arrives. It'll go to my mum's. So yeah, I cannot wait. It's going to be going to be great. But yeah, I do want to say 
But I apologize once again for feeding the animals. You shouldn't do that. Like I say, if you haven't watched the video, go back, watch it. It's a really good video, but I do emphasize you shouldn't feed the wild animals. Um, and the uh, adopter donkey do help, not just Jasper, my donkey. I got my own donkey. Uh, <laughs> but they help other donkeys, animals around the country. Um, so yeah, it's a great, great cause. So yeah, thought I'd just uh, let you guys know, got donkey, got donkey. <laughs> Good morning. This is an absolute bag in the park up. No one bothered me whatsoever last night. No one's here, no one's turned up. Uh, there's been a, a skip lorry came, I think uh, about an hour ago. They, I think they had their lunch or their break. Um, but apart from that, it's just, yeah, it's just quiet. It really is. I think there must be a train line somewhere because you can hear a, a like a beep beep <laughs> from the train. A bit better than that, but not. Um, but yeah, that's right in the distance. So you can't really hear that at all, to be fair. Um, but the reason I'm here, so I'm, like I said to you in the last video, I'm making my way to Minehead for a Butlin weekend. Um, and I am uh, I said to Luke, I told him about the video that I've just done, I was gonna try and get some uh, footage of the ponies and donkeys and the horses in uh, New Forest. And then he turned around and said, oh, that's cool, that's cool. Why don't you try and go and get a nice selfie down at Durdle Door? And I was like, I've never been down Durdle Door. Um, so why not? I know my, fr uh, my friend Stuart, he's been, he goes camping down there in his pod. Um, uh, usually every year I think he loves Dirtle Door so that's hence why I'm in the area and at this park up because I'm only I think five miles from Dirtle Door right now. Plan was to wake up today do a few little bits then drive down there there's a car park right near the, the, the Dirtle Door arch um, park there for a couple of hours we'll have a little walk around and then continue on. Now I've had a little look on the website <laughs> <laughs> it seems like a bit of a rip-off. Shock horror. Shock horror that there's a rip-off for motorhomes in the UK or for van life. Anything over five metres, and that, it is 20 quid for the car park. And I'm thinking, Jesus Christ. It's out of season as well. I mean, it's like, I think it's actually December now. Uh, you know, it's end of November to beginning of December. So it's like, it's not exactly peak tourist season. Um, so then I was like, hang on a minute. I was looking on the map and there's a campsite right there, like a, a caravan park. And uh, I think they accept touring motorhomes and caravans. So I thought, oh, I'll give them a call. Gave them a call, said, uh, swinging through the area. I just want to stay one night. How much? 30 quid. Okay. 30 quid for hard standing, water, electric, all the facilities. And I'm thinking, well, 30 quid is quite expensive for a, a campsite. I don't really like spending 30 quid on a campsite. There you go, you heard the beep, you heard the beep. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> um, I've got horses following me. <laughs> they've, come, they've come all the way, all the way from New Forest. <laughs> no, they ain't. So I'm thinking, well, 30 quid, I, I don't really need a campsite, you know, so 30 quid is a is 30 quid to spend for something I don't really need. But then when I compare it to 20 quid for parking, I'm thinking, well, that's a no-brainer. I get a hard standing pitch for the night. I get to stay in the area I'm, 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 I wanna be in. I get to go look at Dirtle Door. I get electric, I get showers, I get all the water, I can empty my tanks. Well, it makes no sense. It, may, it, 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 it makes sense to, to do it, doesn't it? And like to, to just bin the car park off and go, yeah, I'll go stay on the site. <laughs> They're braver than me. They're definitely braver than me. I would, yeah, I would not be on. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sure it'd kick me straight off. <laughs> it's saying, nah, you're too heavy, mate. Get off. <laughs> Do you know, funny story. I remember I was in Egypt with the family. Family holiday to Egypt. And we went to go look at the camels. Now, <laughs> the guy looked at me. It was 10, 10 Egyptian pounds for everyone to go on a camel, just to go, literally go on the camel, walk around like a little circle, then come back. That was it, it was going nowhere, like weren't going out in the desert on a deep walk or anything. It was just literally, probably the size of this car park to be fair, you're just going around the edge of the car park, coming back and then that's it, you've been on a camel. <laughs> and he looked at me, now this must have been, I don't know, I, I'm, I was probably still at school. Was I still at school? 
I can't remember. It was years ago, years ago. Now I've always been big. I've always been big, shocker. <laughs> and this Egyptian guy looked at me and went, 15 pounds for you, you, you hurt the camel's back. <laughs> now, that's just a, a, a fat joke and a fat insult, that really is. But looking back on it as well, thinking, no, I paid it, I had to pay it, because if I wanted to go on the camel, <laughs> I had to pay it. He was a right little uh, joker. But now looking back on it, if he said, oh, I'm going to hurt the camel's back, why did he let me on it? I mean, I, I mean, they load camels up with everything in the desert. I'm not saying that's right or wrong, but I'm not as heavy as some of the stuff they put on there and people as, on top of what they put on them as well. Um, so, you know, I think he was just conning an extra five, uh, five Egyptian pounds out of us because I'm fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My brothers were like, ha ha, you got to pay more. <laughs> anyway, I am now going to leave here. I'm going to quickly pop to the post office, uh, do a uh, post few letters, and then I'm going to make my way to the campsite, get on the pitch, and then maybe get the bike out and go find Durdle Door. Let's go do it. <laughs> I'm all parked up. Yeah, there's no one here, there really is. There's one motorhome all the way down the end, um, but that's it. I don't even know if that's being used. It's all, looks all shut up and everything, so. I'll show you around the campsite uh, either later today or in the morning, because I want to uh, crack on and go and see if I can see Dirtle Door. Got my walking boots on, got my hat, got my coat, I've got my gloves, I think. Yeah, I've got my gloves. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Well, let's do it. I might get the bike out in the morning, see uh, if I can have a little ride around. But, so this is the campsite, and then I'm led to believe that this just here is the, the, the car park where I was gonna park. Now, to be fair, oh no, there are people here. There are people in the car park. I was gonna say, would anyone check? Would anyone know? But it'd be my luck that I go for a walk, <laughs> have a great day, <laughs> go find uh, uh, these, the Dirtle Door and have a nice little, nice little time out and then uh, come back to a fine. So it's, this is where I would be parking. Oh, look at that view. Look at that. It's a nice view, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, that's lovely. Hot woman sign, isn't it? <laughs> Makes you feel uh, lovely and safe. By the way, no, no lifeguard. Call the Coast Guard. <laughs> Uneven as well. Uneven. So if I don't trip over and fall flat on my ass on this trip, oh gee, this is, a look how steep this is. Are we, are we having a laugh here? What, we couldn't put some stairs in? How is this a thing? <laughs> I'm definitely gonna fall over. <laughs> I'm definitely right. Well, I'm always right, you know. <laughs> no, seriously. I've done a video about a month back, I suppose about getting your motorhome ready for winter, you know, getting it all prepared to put away because you're not going to use it. And uh, I said in that video, before before I went into the hints and tips about putting it away, I said, why are you putting it away? Just use it. Get out there and use it, you know? Um, because everywhere's quiet. Now look at this. This place in summer could not be more heaving. Now, don't get me wrong, I've got a woolly hat on. Yeah, my tip of my nose is cold. All right, I grant you that. But it ain't a bad day. And there's no, there's not millions of people. And most people that, you know, are in van life and, and this is a generalization, most people that are in van life and on the nomadic -y kind of lifestyle and doing this kind of thing, on a whole, don't like many people. You know, don't like big crowds of people, should we say. So this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. 
So, you know, that was a generalisation, it was, but I don't, I, you know, I can deal with crowds of people, but I'd rather them not be crowded, because I get to, you know, just do my own thing. So, yeah, get out there, put a woolly hat on, get a hot chocolate, put your big boy pants on or big girl pants on, <laughs> and go. <laughs> How cool does this look? Oh, yes, I'm not even on the side of the... The arch, yet yeah. this is brilliant though. Look at this, that's actual blue water. That looks so cool. I better be awesome to swim in there. Not now, mind that would be a bit nippy, but that looks so cool. And you can get down to the bottom of the stairs, so they do know what stairs are. <laughs> Door. Look at that. How cool does that look? <laughs> I can't believe people were jumping off that thing. Nah, I'm out. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. Stupid. But look at that. That is a awesome sight. Look at it. What a place, man. What a place. Look at it down there. Just so cool. And then you've got the whole coastline down there. The white nose. And there's a little arch through that cave, I think, down there as well, through that um, cliff face. That's cool, isn't it? It looks so good. I haven't looked that side yet, though. Um, I know I've looked that side from the other side, but not from this side, if you get what I mean. But look at that. The water looks so clear. I definitely want to go down there and have a little... Uh, have a little look around. It's just amazing down there. It really is. Now I'm going to go look at that side and then I don't know which one to go down. I think I might go down one and then go down the other tomorrow morning. <laughs> because I think going down one and then back up and then down the other and back up will kill me. <laughs> it does look cool though, doesn't it? Look at it. Okay, so this is this side. The side that I saw first, which looks so cool. But yeah, it's just the stairs down and then it's just the cove. But it goes on for a long way. Yeah, it looks really nice. So uh, that'd be cool to swim in that in the summer. Just out in the middle, just swimming around and yeah, I love that kind of stuff. That'd be so cool. Right. I think I'm gonna go down this side. I don't actually know what the time is now long until it's dark. It's actually quarter to four. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea. Because by the time I get down there, I'm not going to get any decent camera shots. And then I've got to get back up. And then I've got to go back up there. So, I may... I know I said put my big boy pants on earlier. I may take the option of coming down here in the morning. And come down on the beach in the morning and have a little walk around. Because then I'll get better light, better, yeah. And I get to suck myself up for it. <laughs> no, it's easy. It's only the stairs, isn't it? But it's just, I don't want to be doing it in the dark. There's no point of that. Right. I am heading back. It is starting to get dark. And, uh, yeah, I'm freezing. I am freezing. But I turned the heating on this time. So when I get back, because I'm plugged in, I've got the electric heating on. Lovely. <laughs> Should be nice and warm. Then, uh, yeah, get something to eat on the go and uh, chill out. Then go for a nice, nice shower on the on the campsite. I think might as well make use of the facilities. <laughs> and then I think I'm going to come out early morning down here, see what we can have a look at, and then get get on the beach and have a little look around. There you go. Twenty pound for large vehicles. So that would be me. And it's only until the car park closes. There's the car park. And there's my motorhome. home. So I've just got back to the motorhome. home. I'm thinking, instead of taking all this off and then coming back out for a look around the site, I'll just go around now. Um, I'm gonna walk up to the bar restaurant area 
Um, but as you can see, you can see the site now. I mean, I'll show you more in the morning as well. Um, the site's not overall level. They're kind of level, but they're on a slant that way as well. And they're a little bit forward. You'd just be aware of that if you're gonna to come to the site. Most people, most normal people, um, carry the levelers or the chocks or something or whatever, the ramps. I don't, because <laughs> I use them so rarely, because I'm always wild camping somewhere. I can't get levelers out whilst I'm, you know, on the street or something. I, uh, I just don't carry them because they're just, obviously I need big ones because I've got a tag axle. Um, I can level the front, but because of the weight of my vehicle, they need to be big and strong. So I just don't carry them. And there are times, <laughs> there's an odd time you think, could be quite useful right now. Uh, but hey ho, um, it's what it is, isn't it really? So, but these pitches or the pitches I'm on, the pitch I'm on is what you'd call like a super pitch or a service pitch. So I've got uh, my electrical hookup, I've got water tap uh, uh, there, and I've got my grey waste grid. So I can put a pipe on my grey waste and run it straight down the drain that's there on, the, on my pitch. Um, it's quite nice because then you don't have to, like if you was in a caravan or something, you wouldn't have to go and get um, your aqua roll or your water hog or whatever you call them and roll them around everywhere because you just put your hose straight in and you're good to go. Um, but yeah, 30 quid in this time in December is quite expensive, I think. I know we've got the whole car park argument, car park argument, but that's a different subject. But 55 during, during summer. I mean, I don't know if that's all pitches. Uh, I'm not sure. But the lady did say, because I asked if it, if it changes, and she said that she thinks the most expensive is 55. So this is the main, main area. You've got your bar and restaurant, and you've got a little... Um, a little uh, cost cutter, is it? No, spa. A little supermarket, and then you've got reception at the end. Obviously closed different hours during this time of year. They told me that this is the first year they've stayed open over the winter. Um, so it's quite new to them. They've not done that before, so, yeah. But this is Man, Man o' War. Ha ha. Right, let's go get a drink and see what the menu's like. Not sure how I'm going to eat here tonight, but see what the menu's like. <laughs> Back in the mile home. Went for a, well, I had a pint of um, Pepsi Max in the bar. Nice bar, nice staff. Um, very quiet this time of year. Playing some music. Nice, nice sofas to sit on and chill out. Um, just chilled in there for a bit. Took all my, all my layers off and uh, yeah, just chilled out. Had a little play on my phone, you know. You know how it is um, now. I'm on a bit of a crossroads. <laughs> it's 6.30 in the evening. I need to have some dinner. I'm thinking I could get the deep fat fryer out. I've got a pack of chicken in the fridge. So I could bread that up. I could even bread up some halloumi in the breading. I've never tried that yet. That could be <laughs> flipping awesome. I could then, because I think I've used the oil about six, seven times, maybe more. Um, and which is fine with that. Uh, fryer because it filters it but I'm thinking while I'm here you know take full advantage of the site whilst you're whilst you're on site I mean you paid for it you might as well use it now I'm not saying abuse it but just use it to its maximum potential so I could cook on the fryer cook with the deep fat fryer tonight have a lovely dinner then let it cool overnight I can then decant all the oil into um, a bottle and dispose of that but then I could take all the, the actual fryer, all the parts that I can, over to the dishwashing area um, and clean it in their facilities. Free running hot water, nice big sinks. You know, no one else is here. It's, it's not as if I'm going to be fighting for a sink or anything. There's no one here whatsoever. So I can give it a nice good clean, clean the oil box out, uh, get it, then put it back all, to, it all together, let it drip dry 
dry out for a couple of days and then next time I want to use it I'll fill it up with another two litres of fresh oil. So that kind of then gets that all nice and clean in in a good order. I've changed the oil, everything good and I've had a nice dinner. I've then got the thing of I want to put the Christmas lights up. I started untangling them, they're pretty good to go. But I need to figure out, because I've got these ones, I've never put my uh, lights up in this one. And I don't know how far these are going to stretch. Um, I've got 2,000 and 1,000. Uh, I don't know how long that is in metres or anything like that. Um, and then I'm going to have to stick things up and all this and that. So I want to get them up. But then also, you see my hair, it looks like a bog brush. Um, and my beard's a bit, you know, all over the place at the moment. Again, I'm on site, so I want to take use of, make use of the facilities. So I could get dinner on the go, have dinner, then I could uh, cut my hair, trim my beard, then go over to the showers and have a lovely, lovely shower. Oh, what do I do? I've got too much to do, too little time, because tomorrow morning I want to be down there having a look at the dirtle door on the beach. So I've got to be off here by 11. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> you, you want to get everything done you want to make use of the site but then also you want to make use of the, the, the site's location for what you're looking at and then you want to make use of the, all the facilities oh, it's, uh... what a conundrum what a conundrum let's just get some chicken breaded done the chicken that's all been breaded up and that's halloumi diva fries all ready just need to turn it on and get ready to uh, get it to temperature but yeah that's all good to go whilst that's been uh waiting uh like soaking up all the all the uh batter mix yeah, as you can see i've been uh putting christmas lights up and i think i've got a bit too many this is just the colored ones i haven't even done the white ones this is two thousand colored ones multicolored lights now i'm gonna turn the lights off and uh yeah we're gonna see what they look like but look how i put them everywhere look at them all trusty ego flow ready three two one boom <laughs> look at them all yes Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and I think I can change them. So here we go. Now, warning, uh, these are my strobe. So if you can't take strobe lights, then turn it away now. Oh, they're nice. What we got? Oh, just different color one. Yeah. Look at them. These are so cool. <laughs> La -la -la. <laughs> It's Christmas! <laughs> I'm just gonna run all these lights. Uh, they are 240 lights. I'm just gonna run them all straight off the river, the, the EcoFlow River. It's a nice little way to me to just plug these because I do, I, I absolutely love working with EcoFlow um, and their products do work well for me and I use them for everything you know constantly so i've got i've got a, i've got quite a lot of their products um and i've tried tried and tested them uh, pretty much them all um the only one i haven't tried and tested there's two i haven't tried the lawnmower <laughs> clearly because i haven't got a lawn to mow unless i've done it on pitches but that would be a bit too much um and i haven't tried the the one ads has got the delta um, pro the delta pro that can take an EV port, uh, EV port charge. Like, I haven't tried that one, but yeah, the, as you can see, this it's not even pulling anything. I don't even know what these are running on because it's not it's not pulling anything. It must be pulling so little. Um, yeah, I run everything on my EcoFlow, so trusty uh, good good shout out to a trusty my trusty EcoFlow. If you uh, are in the market for one uh, a power bank of uh, of any kind, be it small or huge, they've got one for everyone. And I put the link in the description, and I've got a discount code as well, so I'll put that in there. So if you want to grab one, you can check them out on their website or on Amazon. But yes, Christmas is here. Look at the lights. Now I've got these ones. I've got the white ones as well. These aren't as many. I just don't think I need them as well. I think that'd be too many. These are bright white, but I think, yeah, see, look, look at them. I don't know where I'm gonna put them. Uh, 
because I can't latch them on to what they're already stuck up with because there'll be too much weight and they'd pull the stickers down. The way I've fixed them to the uh, to the ceiling is I've got, I could have got something better to be fair, but uh, let me turn these off. So I've just used these, they're little clips. They're, they're meant to hold cables so you can go all the way through, wire uh, weave each side. Um, and then you stick one of these M3 stickers onto the back, peel it off and then stick it onto uh, wherever you want. Now I've just stuck them to the wall like that. And then when they're on the wall, I've only just used that side um, because obviously they're not, you know, uh, it's not really working that way. I could have gone that way um, and looped them, but yeah, they were a bit, bit difficult. But I mean, I could have got singular ones of these. I should have got singular ones, but these are just what I had to hand because I think I needed some of these for hiding wires down the backs of things and just making sure they're all cabled in properly. But I've got them on Amazon, they're nothing special. But it seemed to be doing pretty well, but look at it. How cool does it look? I think it's uh, starting to look a little like Christmas. <laughs> not only are the christmas lights up but the tree is up now if you guys have watched the channel for a while you know i bought this um a couple of months back in cheddar gorge at the christmas shop itself look at it it's just battery powered look how cool it looks <laughs> i love it i love it now i've done that have a quick tidy up and then gonna get the air, gonna get the deep fat fryer on because i am starving it is now 25 past eight I'm uh, going to get the fryer on, chill out for an hour or so, and then I might, I might cut my hair. Look at this. This is the halloumi stick. Oh, my. I'm going to try it. Oh, yes. Phil, 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 Phil. I love Tess. I really do. The bread and... Oh. The breading she's created, flipping amazing. Thanks, Tess. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get stuck into this. Sit back. I'm well happy the lights are up. I've got my chicken. Yes, yes, yes. Loving this. <laughs> it's a great little day. Great little park up, great little day. Oh, oh, right, so I've had my chicken, had the halloumi. Oh, that was absolutely spot on, spot on. Now, I've been watching a binge watch basically over the last couple of days um, on Apple TV, uh, Hijack with Idris Elba. Oh, that was good. Seriously, if you've not seen that, you definitely need to. It's just like, what is going on? It's proper intense. You're like, come on! Get him, kill him, show him, do him! Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad there's no one else on the campsite because I've been screaming at the at the iPad. I've been screaming at it, going, "Go on!" Yeah, you definitely, definitely need to uh, watch that. It's like seven episodes, and yeah, you get gets the heart going. Well, it's not like scary; it's just like oh, you really get involved with it. Yeah. <laughs> right, it's now twenty past eleven. I'm pumped right now. I'm like wide awake. Um, I've been charging my clippers for the hair and the beard. I think I'm going to give it a quick uh, trim. I'll go over to the showers, have a shower and then be up in the morning. I've looked at the weather forecast that it says for the first until eight o'clock in the morning. It's going to be snowing. So, um, yeah, that'll be interesting. I think sunrise is about oh, quarter to eight. So I'll get up about seven or seven, see what the see what see what it's like and then uh, take a walk down there <laughs> i could just see myself slipping all the way down if it's uh snowy um yeah if it's snowy i'll uh, have a little look and i might um, <laughs> i'll have to assess the situation do a risk assessment because i don't fancy sliding all the way down that <laughs> and that is a wrap time for bed Good morning, right. Now, I have always been, and I always will be honest with you guys on this channel, <laughs> I've had a little bit more sleep than I was planning. <laughs> yes, I've overslept a little bit. I woke up about quarter to seven, and it was pitch black outside, so I was like, oh, I'll, I'll uh, 
Have another half hour, 45 minutes. It's now nine o'clock. <laughs> um, and I've woken up and there's multiple lights that have come unstuck from the ceiling. I woke up to lights on me in the bed. <laughs> Look. So these lights here have, have fallen. I'm now... <laughs> I'm hanging up there. I need to get them back over there somehow. And and then I've got lights that <laughs> have fallen from here. Teething problems. Teething problems. That's all they are. Right. But now I've got about an hour and a half, an hour, two, two hours. Um, and I've got to be off this site. So I ain't going for a walk on the beach. <laughs> no, because I've got washing up to do. So I am going to quickly take all this down. Uh, go to the, uh, the washing area, wash all this because it's it's the deep fat fryer, so I want to get that washed outside of the motorhome, prefer preferably. Um, I don't think it's snowed out there. I think it is wet and drizzly. Um, so, yeah, it's not, not the nicest of weather. And um, I don't think I'd be that that uh, confident trying to go down that with the uh, if it being, if it's really wet because <laughs> I'm not exactly s svelte and that ain't exactly uh, flat, you know? So put the two together and we've got a bit of a comedy show going on. But right, I'm going to quickly get this lot washed and then I'll be back with you and then we'll see where we are about getting off this site and uh, yeah, cracking on. Oh, and don't all rush the comments of how good I look, how handsome I look. <laughs> I look a lot better, right? Oh. I think I think I've tried to do too much on this site too in too short of a time. I've I've burnt the candle at both ends. I think last night I went to bed at um probably about one twenty past one in the morning. So I mean it kind of makes sense that you know I had a lovely sleep though because I've got the electric heating on and this place is we're sitting at seventeen degrees, eighteen degrees. Oh, it's lovely and warm in here. It's just nice and cozy. <laughs> One sparkling clean deep fat fryer. Look at that. <laughs> hey, job done. That is me done at Durdle Door. I'm all packed up. Uh, lights are a bit all over the place. Christmas lights are a bit all over the place, but packed up. All the washing's done. Tanks are filled. Tanks are emptied. Uh, yeah, all batches are charged. All good to go. On to the next location. Um, it was a flying visit, super quick flying visit, um, but brilliant, brilliant uh, to see Dodal Door for the first time. And I got this very nice, very nice selfie next to it. Um, so yeah, Luke, I got a selfie with Dodal Door. Cheers for the, uh, cheers for the little um, challenge. I'm now going to uh, head on further east. I think I've got one more stop before I get to Minehead. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. <laughs> Hey, didn't lie, did I? It was a good episode, wasn't it? I told you. Dirtle Door was brilliant. The campsite was great. It was a great little, uh, great little explore. But that is the end of this video. Like I say, I hope you guys all have an amazing Christmas tomorrow. Like I say, fill your faces, have a great one, and I'll catch you guys on New Year's Eve. Take it easy. Bye.